There she is, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody, welcome Pixie Plays to the stream. Let me. This is this is huge. This is my third ever interview that I've done. So you're in the top three. That's what we're saying. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm in the top three of everyone. I'm honored. Oh Do I get yeah. A medal? I'm kidding. <laughs> um. Wow. I was like, I don't. Need, I don't think I have medals. <laughs> But you you will forever go down in history on YouTube though, so you know if that's okay. Oh, I still I haven't talked to you about that, but I oh no fifth Viking bye okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um yeah. So for anybody that is missing this and seeing this on YouTube, um please uh you know follow the links in the description. I will have links to Pixie Plays on Twitch. It'll be all organized down there. I'll figure it out later. It'll be great. Cool, but let's get into it. Pixie be famous, true. So oh, no, yeah. I'm not. So let's talk about your your career of fame and uh, and success. You've, I think, <laughs> I think you've been the person that I will have interviewed that is technic technically has the most followers and has been streaming for the longest. So you are like the most experienced of streamers. Um, that oh. I've interviewed. Yeah, so you're Thank like, you. yeah, you have to teach all of us how to become pro streamers too. Oh gosh, I ain't pro, but I can like maybe give a, a few tips and stuff like that. Oh yeah, wait, change your title and your. Oh, you're title. so right. I there were so many things to do. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the life of being a streamer. There's like so many freaking balls to juggle. It's crazy. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, I am here and I don't know how to do interviews. I'm just a shy me. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I I feel like I half the time just have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just flying it's by the seat fine. of my pants. You know, we're just chatting. That's the point of it. It's yeah, a place where it. people can hang out, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Heck yeah. Alright, I got it. Streamer podcast with Pixie Plays updated. Double check it's updated. Got it. All right. Now we in, now we in the we in the business. Um but yeah, get us a Yeah, there is a title command. Um Did I turn off the title command? I think I might have turned it off. I don't know. But anyways. It's okay. I sometimes I do things that make it harder for my mods too. So you know, <laughs> it's it's there's so much to learn. There's so much to figure out when you're streaming, honestly, and especially at the very beginning, uh -huh. it's like fire hose just <laughs> information. <laughs> it's crazy. All in one go. All yeah. In one go. And I don't feel like there's a very good like source for help, really for for new streamers like youtube has probably been one of my best friends other yeah. streamers that are my friends have been like probably yeah. the best source mm -hmm. but there's no like instruction manual on twitch like there's like the frequently asked questions and like yeah, stuff like that but it's not super mm -hmm. robust i don't know yeah most of the time it's like it's like you learn on your own because if you if you listen to if you're if you rely on like YouTube um, videos or articles and stuff like that, mm -hmm. it doesn't really help, especially if it's not your thing. If that makes sense. Yeah. You know, it's it's different per streamer, so mm -hmm. it's nice. Like for me, it it was very nice to hang out and get to know other streamers than reading and watching YouTube stuff or for Twitch right. or Twitching. Twitch. For twitching <laughs> is that what the verb of what we're doing here is we're just twitching <laughs> i'm sorry hey uh hey babe what are you up to um i'm twitching <laughs> don't worry i'm just twitching over here over here it's my thing you know yeah seriously um so tell us a little bit about how you got started with streaming did did you just like you were born and then you were like I know exactly what I want to do with my life. I want to be a streamer. See, when I started streaming, it's a bit of a weird start to my Okay. Stream. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, wait, wait. Cody said, is there a reason Pixie is, has like a reverb effect? 
Mm, I can't no. so I don't know. No, there shouldn't be any reverb. I don't have any filters on her uh, on the desktop audio. Okay, sorry, I got distracted. Okay, okay. So, um, how I got started with Twitch? Um, uh, see, I did not know anything about Twitch when I started streaming. Okay. At all. I originally am or was trying to be a YouTuber. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I uploaded a lot of my like speed builds and stuff like that because if you guys don't know on, on Red's channel, I am a Sims 4 streamer, mainly a Sims 4 streamer. Mm -hmm. I started with The Sims. Yeah. And I built a lot in The Sims. So <laughs> what I did before streaming was I uploaded videos of me... Um, Building things in The Sims, right? And, um, uh, recording comment commentary above it and stuff like that. And then at one point, I was thinking, I was getting lonely <laughs> <laughs> because I couldn't really interact that much with my viewers community. on YouTube. Yes, yeah. on my community, like small community there, because most of the time people would just comment, "Oh, this is pretty" and stuff like that, and things like that. And then you just reply to it and right. nothing happens after that. It's, yeah, and YouTube like, is not a, a place to, you know, like chill and hang out with your community. It's like yeah. the weirdest things you've heard in the comments usually. And like people just start like arguing about politics and stuff like that. Like mm -hmm. it's not. Yeah, no, I totally get that. Yeah. I also love the way that you say community. Um, you like pronounce the entire word. It's <laughs> I guess from where I'm from, people just say community. Like they just like slur it all together that's super cool though warm. yeah Do people notice that even when i say warm say community again community community it's so enunciated i love it <laughs> oh, but gosh. but that that does bring up an interesting uh an interesting case uh english is not your first language is it no it's not my first language english can you believe that language. ladies and gentlemen this girl is not English speaking originally, but she's so great at it. That's crazy. No, I speak yeah. Spanish fluently, but I do not sound like you in Spanish. Like I sound pretty good. And most people are like, where are you from? Whenever I speak Spanish, but they're not like, you know, just assume that you're could be American or whatever. I don't know. I mean, your Spanish is freaking really good. I've heard of it. Like how many times when somebody redeemed like five minutes? <laughs> it was 10 minutes the other day. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah well was two two people were like oh we both redeemed it at the same time and then i was like are you sure you want 10 minutes guide and nobody even understood me you know i think there was one person and they didn't even say anything back i was just like okay what's the point of this like we should be like um okay. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't know it's fun though i love i love speaking in spanish so what is your uh what's your og language then my OG language is Tagalog, although I Tagalog dialect. So yeah, you know. hey, okay. And if that doesn't doesn't say where I'm from, I'm from the Philippines. <laughs> yes, Tagalog for everybody out there wondering. Tagalog is the uh, I guess the number one language spoken in the Philippines. I guess is. Um, do you guys uh, have like a state language? Because the United States doesn't have, a, like, an official language. Well, most people here know how to speak Tagalog, except for, like, um... See, our, our country is divided into three. Right. So we have Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. A lot of people in Mindanao doesn't really understand Tagalog, but it's the main language that a lot of people can understand, if that makes sense. Mm, okay. So if you go to like the capital of our country tagalog is their language mm -hmm. but then there's a lot of different dialects in our country a lot that's super cool though there's kind of dialects in the united states too but it's not necessarily um, like a true dialect it's just like you sometimes don't understand what they're saying <laughs> like, I know, like, they have slurs or they have a different kind of accent yeah exactly yeah. it's it's more close to an accent if you talked to a ling a li linguist linguist uh -huh. excuse me uh -huh. <laughs> um they'd probably just say no it's like technically an accent but um but yeah like in in utah or places like that they say mountains 
they don't say mountains mm -hmm. they say mm -hmm. mountain and they just take the so, a-i-n and they just make it mm, mountain mm -hmm. Yeah. That's how they say it where I'm from. Are you making it, I was using Utah as an hey, example, what? yeah. Hello. <laughs> she says hello. Hey, I want some cupcakes too. Yeah, they're muffins, actually. They're pretty tasty. Okay. I think we're I think wait, what were we talking about? <laughs> we were talking about linguists linguists saying it's like a an accent instead of a dialogue. Uh, uh, yeah. A dialect, excuse me. <laughs> We're having a dialogue. For, for, I think like, it's legit a different kind of language. Yeah, no, that like, makes sense. Yeah, like, like you know how our words can be different from what it means in Spanish? Because if you guys don't know, the Spaniards, like, legit colonized our they country. Con so yeah, they conquered a lot of the Philippines. Yeah. So a lot of our words are from Spanish language, but some of them mean something else if that makes sense oh so like it sounds like a spanish word but it doesn't mean the same thing yeah although i think wait, what is the spanish for money again is it uh dinero or plata or oh, yeah something like that yeah it's different from us it's yeah like yeah no accents and stuff are really interesting it's uh it's kind of um i don't know it's weird i don't know I, I would love to again I'd love to actually talk to like a linguist uh, and mm -hmm. figure out what the difference between an accent and, and a dialect is because I feel like British English and American English or Australian English and American English are almost different dialects of English because like if yeah. like for example, I went to like Ireland and Wales and mm -hmm. the, and uh, London I like kind of took a trip uh, after I got back from my mission when I was like 20. And I swear to you, we were talking English to people, and I had no idea what they were saying. Um, really? oh, it was. Is it because of the way they use their their, their They have different now? words for things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like if you're not familiar with the other word for an elevator, which is lift, then you might be like, oh, you know, that... like meet me at the lift, and you're like, lift what? Like what am I picking up? Like you know, you you might be confused, but you know, or whatever. Or the or word like, for a trunk. Like... Is boot. Yeah, trunk, trunk, and boot. I was thinking of that. What the heck? Excuse me, red? We, <laughs> we, have, uh, we have telepathy. Ooh. I gotta remember which way you are. You're over here for me. You're over here for me. Yes. See, this card is weird because on my end, you're here. Okay? Yep. On your video. Okay. I actually have you on my left screen, so you actually are over here. I yeah. put it on the left screen so that when I look at you, it looks like I'm looking at you on the screen. Big brain. Yeah, I get which. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, 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 it's like, hard. I'm to, the far, to the far right of my screen right now because my screen over here is not working with my laptop. If you guys don't know, I'm streaming from a freaking laptop. Ooh. And, that, did you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? She's streaming from a laptop. Don't let anything stop you from starting to stream. Don't let your setup stop you from streaming. Don't let your camera. Don't let your mic. Don't let your keyboard. I don't know why that would stop you but you know what i mean like you can't you can't let anything stop you if if streaming is what you want to do you just go for it you know yeah. just start oh, that I... goes with anything in life though if you want to get fit don't worry about having the perfect you know meal plan or the pe perfect equipment you can just get your butt on the ground and start working out do squats right now do squats <laughs> yeah 20 squats oh sorry <laughs> But Man. yeah, when I started, I only had like, um, I had a really old webcam over here. And that looks just like mine. Yeah. <laughs> so this is like, what is this? Uh, Logitech? It's the Logitech C9 or C90 or something. It's the one before the okay. one I have, I think. It's, it's uh, an H340, I think. I'm not really sure. This is really something old. Like it's that. Like, Looks like the predecessor to the one I have. Yeah. It doesn't go to 1080, but it worked. My headset worked. I did not have a mic. I just had this. It worked. Mm. I only used my laptop. I had Same. a random wireless mouse. And... Hey, yours go up and down. Mine yeah, I down. know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, don't let equipment stop you. If you can't 
do webcam, but you still want to do it, then do so. People will still come to your streams as long as you have you are legitimate le legitimately having fun with what you're doing. They will. Mm -hmm. come. Yeah. Don't keep from what you want to do. Way to flex your headset mic on this. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. She's like, oh, yours just, you know, goes up and down. Mine comes in and out. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm used to it goes that way. For you, isn't it? <laughs> that's funny. If I remember correctly with yours, I'm not really sure if that's the same one, but yours goes like, if it goes up, does it mute? Yes. It, it mostly <laughs> mutes. It's not like 100% like perfect, but... Yeah, and that's really cool. Cause for me, I j I can't do that. I can't do like yeah. bring it into the and just it mutes. Goodness. That's crazy. true. Yeah, it is. That was pretty nice. Since I don't use this, uh, you know, microphone anymore, it's less nice. But but this sounds a lot better than what my other microphone sounded like. So. I have a question though: Are we gonna be PG to a point here or not? Because I feel like Cody's saying something else. Um, I like to keep I like to keep it family friendly. So. Yeah. If that's that's anywhere possible, then we'll try and do that. I I'm not super worried because you know YouTube's not gonna pick up like the text on the screen. Well, I don't know. YouTube's kind of scary actually. How like good they are at like analyzing. Oh, right? They're 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 like crazy good at analyzing things, but they're also crazy bad at analyzing things. Like I don't know if anybody else saw the whole like Markiplier like thing where he he got a strike and and then he was yeah. like YouTube, you suck. And they were like, Yeah, you're right. We do suck. Sorry. <laughs> So. I mean, have you tried their auto captions? It's bad. I have. If you have an instant, it's super bad. I use it on all my videos. But no, YouTube suggests your good. videos better if it has captions on it. Yeah, so. They're more likely to suggest to, you. Yeah, but you, if you plan to do captions, try to do it manually because sometimes yeah. YouTube hears it different. And they might like, think you said a bad thing. It might just Ooh. say that you said a bad thing in there, or people might read it that way, even if they hear it differently. Yeah, no, I get that. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you started out as a YouTuber, and then you were yeah, like, you know what? I ain't got a way to talk to my community. I need yeah. a more personable platform. And so you're like, Twitch, bienvenidos a mi casa. That means welcome okay. to my house. I don't yeah, I, I kind of got that one. So when I started on Twitch, I did not know anything about it. I yeah. did not use the Twitch app at all before that. I never watched any streams before that. Mm -hmm. As I went to Twitch, Twitch, Switch, Twitch, Switch, <laughs> Switch up the Twitch. <laughs> when I went into that platform on my first freaking day, I don't know what I ate. I decided to stream. Although before that, I tried to research other things if my um, internet was okay, my, um, right. my gear was okay, if I can. And I just randomly pushed start. And all I'm going to say is on my first freaking day of streaming, I did nothing at all. I had no views. I didn't know that my stream was lagging. I did not know that people did not hear me because this was not my pair of um, headsets before. Right. When I started, I had like a Logitech, like, you know, the ones that they use in call centers? Uh, oh, you're talking about, it has like, like one, small... does it only have one ear? Yeah, it had two ears. Okay, so it wasn't that janky. But they're really small and the mic was this small. SN right. knows that. Yeah. I don't know, no, Toshi who knows that. But I started with that. I know exactly I what you're talking about. And then I gave up, the, um, not gave up, but I tried the next day and somebody dropped by my stream. Okay. And for everyone who's on my, on Red's channel right now that are from my community, it's Tashi who dropped by my stream and said, oh, your stream's not working properly. You're lagging and your audio is not working. I can't hear you. Mm -hmm. And we started to communicate through the chat and trying right. to fix everything. Dang. And after that, I did. So he like helped I, you out to like figure out all, all the things that were wrong. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, so like um, we were able to figure out how we fix the, um, the lag because for everyone who wants to try to stream, I, um, I started streaming with a freaking 2 Mbps internet upload. 
two two yeah. megabytes. There's just two, and that's Dang. not the minimum for Twitch. That's I think five I, is minimum, right? Five, 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 I think. Yes, yeah, so okay. that you can watch the stream properly. So I started with two, and um, I started with two for the speed. I started with a freaking three hundred and sixty pixel stream, which is not good. My, 360p my is really bad. <laughs> really bad right now. My bitrate was really low just so that I can stream properly because I really right. wanted to try something. And yeah. that did not stop me. Dang. And then, since my headset wasn't working, I didn't... I had to stop streaming for like... So it started July 8th. I stopped. And then I went back July 23. Okay. Because that was the time that I got this one already. Right. And I know for sure the mic would work because I got reviews and stuff like that. Blah, 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 blah. Right. I was not expecting people to come back, especially that person or that dude who helped me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I get I that. When I first started out, I had a couple of people come in and like help me with the game that I was playing, not with like my setup. Um, yeah. I did have people help me with my setup, so that was true too but you know what i mean like you wonder if the, you, they're just there to like help people because like sometimes yeah. people just want to like go around and tell people what to do you know uh -huh. and and because yeah. some people like that some people like backseat gaming or whatever and that's a thing like that's why there's a tag for that is because some people just love telling people what to do and i often turn that tag on because i'm like please help me like <laughs> <laughs> but help me do it yeah, but you don't think they're actually going to, like, stick around, you know? Yeah, I legit thought that he would not stick around because we only talked in chat. Mm -hmm. And when I shut down the stream to do it again, because all of that things that happened, like, we were fixing things, it all happened in one day. Right. So, basically, I stopped streaming, went on, stopped streaming again, went on, until we fixed the, the lag, mm -hmm. at least the lag, not the audio. And then um, I didn't think he would come back at, like, on my second stream on Twitch. Mm -hmm. Because, again, we're, chat we're talking on chat. We randomly talk on, on the whispers. We only talk in whispers when we talk about the stream. Mm -hmm. And it was so, so, so cool that he still came back on stream. So on my second day of streaming, I was able to talk to somebody whilst I stream. Which yeah. Which was fun. And the weirdest thing is, weirdest thing is, it happens to a lot of people. You know when you, you ask people, why, are you, why do you watch my content? Why are you on my stream when it's not something that you watch? Yeah. So I asked him that and he said, so this isn't really my thing. I don't really watch Twitch. <laughs> and it was kind of, oh, okay. Like, well, why are you here? <laughs> why are you here then <laughs> and he said he wanted to help me with the stream it was so nice of him because he did mm -hmm. say that and because he liked the stream itself if that right. makes sense yeah so if you guys are i feel like i'm drifting off the topic but if you guys oh, you're are like fine. wondering what i i like, don't ever want to have an interview where i'm just like let's talk about the things that we planned on like drift let it go where yeah. it wants to go <laughs> But yeah, it's like, I know that this interview is more of like encouraging people to like stream or help people or other mm -hmm. people to stream. And it's just supposed to be entertaining, and, but yeah. Yeah. And um, I feel like people need to know that it doesn't matter what you play. It does to a point if you do want to grow as fast as you want to. Mm -hmm. But if you're aiming to grow a community, which is for me is really important and it's like the main thing for streaming for me at least mm -hmm. um stream what you want and don't let your audience or your viewers to tell what you, to tell you what to do because, yeah well, no if you don't like it like if they tell you to play this game because it's new and it's popular popular or something that doesn't help because if you do that then you'd be on the freaking bottom of the list mm -hmm. and people won't see you yeah now this is this is actually a very important thing that i don't know if actually very many people understand i've had to learn this over the you know months that i've been streaming 
Uh, because when I first started out, you know, I was playing one thing and I played the next thing. And, you know, I had a couple people like my friends and stuff like that that would like watch me consistently. But like the rest of the people would come and go as the games came and went, you know, like, oh, I really yeah. like, you know, uh, Realm Royale or whatever. But then like when I'm not playing that game, then they're like, nope, you know, like yeah, I'm good. And the thing is, is that, yeah, like building until you get to a certain like size, I guess, of of a streamer. It doesn't really matter what you play as long as you're building a community of people that that function together, that like each other, that, you know, can support each other. Because, cause yeah, like, I I was playing Realm Royale, and I got up to, like, maybe, like, 15 or, you know, 20, like, concurrent mm-hmm. viewers, like, yes. every day. And then it just started, like, going down from there because the game was dying. Because... Mm-hmm. Uh, there it wasn't being updated there's a lot of issues but uh but anyways so i was like okay i gotta jump ship i gotta go start playing another game um because you know like i still need to grow and i I of course really wanted to grow because like since this is my job currently um yeah you know it was really important to me to be able to like start you know providing for my family because as a as who i am um, it's really important to me to be able to provide for my family, even though it's just me and my wife, like I want to do that. And, uh, but anyways, when I, when I switched, went down to like three viewers and I was just like, what do you mean? Like what's happening? Like, how did this happen or whatever? And the thing is, is that like you were saying is, is don't worry about like where the hype's going. If there's a new game that comes out and everybody's like, I'm going to stream that now. Don't worry about it. You don't need to worry about that because that's big streamer problems. You know, <laughs> that's like how you stay relevant as a big streamer as you play the new content or whatever. But as a small streamer, your goal is to build a community. It's not to play the cool games. Because like you're saying, you'll show up at the bottom of the list. Nobody knows you there. Yeah, and it's it's really better to build the community first because as you said, when you change a game, a lot of people don't really watch you because you're playing another game. If that makes sense, mm-hmm. it's if if you focus more on the community, and it's a risk to stay in one game. I stayed in one game for what a whole year. That's a long time. So I stayed in Sims because that's the only game that I'm comfortable of streaming, and mm-hmm. that I know that I can interact with my community because I know a lot about the game. Yeah. But because and of that, Sims is a very low stress game too. So if you need to just like pause the game and talk to people, yeah. you can. Mm-hmm. That's that's the problem I had while playing first person shooters. Actually, is because I'm just like I want to talk, but like I am crap at this game. If I'm like trying to talk and like you know play at a high playing at a high yeah. level is really taxing. Like it takes a lot of concentration. Reading chat and then concentrating on doing the pew pew. Pew pew pew. pew. It's a 22. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like reading chat and doing something else to entertain a lot of people is not that easy if you guys think it's easy. It's yeah. not. Especially if there's a lot of people talking mm-hmm. and having a lot of different topics. It's not for me. Yeah. And yeah, like when I, so when I first started uh, streaming, I, I should give my history of you. Um, my friend, uh, Potato Related, who streamed for a bit, uh yeah. he was like you gotta raid this girl she's super uh-huh. cute and small and i was just <laughs> like okay like what and uh anyway so i was like let's let's raid her or whatever and so we pop into uh-huh. her stream and we're like oh we're here to raid like what's up uh-huh. and pixie has a v cutest like raid speech or whatever uh-huh. which first off i think it's great if you have a speech prepared and planned for when somebody raids you because it, you have you know 10 15 seconds that that person gets thrown into your stream and decides whether they're gonna, they're gonna stay or whether they're gonna be like nah i'm good because they're not there for you they're there for the person that sent them and you're not them and so you have like that small small window of time to like catch their attention and yours is just like perfect yeah. super cute i'm not gonna even try and impersonate it because like you guys just need to go over there and wait until somebody raids her um <laughs> So, so there's a story be- behind that. There's a story behind that. 
I did not have anything like that before. All I said before was like, oh, thank you so much for the raid. Like, even if it's just one person in the raid, I mm-hmm. say a lot of things. And I know it's weird, but I'm just really thankful of, for them that they found my stream and brought their community to my stream, you know? Yeah. And no, it's huge. Before, like, yeah. did, did you hear yesterday what happened? Wait, was that yesterday? That wasn't yesterday, was it? Was that two days ago now? I got like a 185 person oh, host. I was there. Okay, you were there. I wasn't, I wasn't on the main like two days raid ago, okay. host, but I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was amazing. It was the craziest thing ever. Um, it was just like, I don't even know. When that type of thing happens, like, I'm not the type of person who just has this like overwhelmed reaction. I'm kind of yeah. like, I'm pretty cool and yeah. collected, but yeah. I was still just kind of like, like this is what happens to other people right like this doesn't yeah. happen to me it was just kind uh, yeah, of surreal because yeah. i was just like okay like i'm not freaking out right now but that's because still in my mind i'm like this isn't real uh-huh. but anyways like no a huge a raid whether big or small is somebody sharing their community with you and that's a huge risk i raided mm-hmm. somebody else the other day and i was like oh this guy looks cool like you know or whatever but uh but it was kind of like a letdown because you get there like i didn't know them beforehand but he was just kind of like oh thanks for the raid and then just went immediately back to what he was doing and didn't say anything else didn't welcome any of my people really people that followed him he said like thanks for the follow but it wasn't like a good welcome and i was kind of just like wow i'm like sorry i'm sorry guys that i like sent you over there and like there was nothing there i don't know i think it's really important and i think yours is great Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't really have that long of a speech before. All I said was, um, yeah, I would welcome the streamer into my stream, but I didn't have the thing where in if you need to rest and stuff like that. That mm-hmm. that just came in like naturally. Yeah. And then when I introduced myself, since I'm too scared of people like getting bored of me talking, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> because that's the main thing I kind of do on my streams lately was like just talk because sometimes I just drift off the talking. <laughs> no, I, I do it too. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. What I said, I usually say before was like, hi, my name is Pixie. Um, and just say a short, I said a short line of what I do. So I mainly am a Sims 4 builder and I hope you find mm-hmm. something interesting on my streams. Like right. even if say one line to welcome a lot of mm-hmm. people into your stream does make a difference because that means they care about the raid. They care about the people who come in the stream. Yeah. And like it doesn't you don't have to read all the chat because I, I am guilty of doing that. I do scroll up. <laughs> but just even like seeing the names and saying hi to them to them mm-hmm. to them makes a difference because that means you care about them. Yeah. You care about the raid is care about the game. And that means there's a there's like a higher chance of them staying on your screen because right. you acknowledge them. You yeah. Know? No, um especially on a platform like Twitch, you can really feel like one in you know, one person that's not noticed in like a sea of people. But making somebody feel like you're one in a million or whatever is huge like having i remember one of my favorite uh moments i had a um one of my streamer friends that i didn't i didn't actually know that they started streaming i was just playing PUBG one day and like turns out he's like hey like you know whatever you want to play with me and i was like cool like let's play and then turns out he started streaming like a year later and i popped on his stream and i was like hey do you remember me we were playing PUBG like a year ago and he's like, oh, yeah, like, I remember you. Anyways, I said a dad joke on his stream, like, a couple months after that. And he, like, I remember he's, like, playing his game, playing his game. And then he, like, looks up at the camera just straight into my eyes. And he says something to me. And I know that the words that he said were to me. And yeah. I just was like, oh, my gosh. Like, it was the best feeling. It was just this, like, yeah. oh, my gosh. Like, he knows I'm here. Like, it's like we're talking to each other. And, you know, he's, like, he's pretty successful. Like, he's a really successful uh, PUBG streamer. So, like, props to him. Um, but he's yeah. always remembered who I am. And that's that's made a, a big, you know, impact on me. So. Yeah, see, see the little things <coughs> make a difference. If you try your best to, like, bond with your community, not just thinking about the numbers and seeing, like, a lot yeah. of new, new names in your chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you do that, it makes 
their day. And that's also like one main reason why I started streaming was because not only because I was lonely <laughs> in YouTube, <laughs> but because I legit wanted to play the game with people. I wanted to yeah. build something with my community, like try and do something that was made not just by me, but with them, with their help. And like my main thing with streaming is like, it doesn't matter if a lot of people hate me. It doesn't matter if a lot of people don't like my content. What matters for me is that I can make people smile on my channel. Cause that's yeah. like the main goal for me is if I'm not happy, I want you guys to at least be happy. If, if I'm not, if, um, if you guys are feeling down, I would want to try my best to make you guys smile at least for like, I don't know, the minute, the second, the hour that you guys are on the channel. I like, want to help and make people's day, you know? Yeah, a hundred percent. No, it's, it's, it's been really interesting. I've been streaming a lot of Minecraft lately pretty much exclusively. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I've had a great time setting up the, with my mods, setting up this uh, Minecraft server and everything. Um, and it's, it's really felt good, but like, you know, sometimes it does, I don't know what to say, how to say this, but sometimes like you're saying, like what you want to do is just like make people's day better, like make people smile, make people laugh. Like all those things you just said is what I want to do every day. You know what I mean? But sometimes it feels like people aren't there to be made to smile, you know, and they're like, they're there for the Minecraft or whatever. Or they're there for whatever. And I mean, I think that's going to be the case. And so sometimes when yeah. when you're streaming and you feel like, like I'm trying to make people's day and I'm trying to be like funny or whatever. And like maybe some people aren't like getting it or whatever. Like, I don't think you need to feel bad at all because again, everybody comes to streams for different reasons. And there are going to be those special people that are coming to the stream just because seeing you and hearing you makes them smile. And, and that's what, I mean, those are the moments that make me just super happy is when somebody just like is, you know, the, the day has been brightened by whatever you know, yeah, that I said or did. A, a little smile. Yeah. A little smile makes a big difference. Like, just saying hi to you, you know? Because for me, I'm not just a streamer. I'm also a viewer. Mm -hmm. I watch you. I watch a lot, a lot of different streamers. When they see my name and they say hi, it just feels different, you know? Yeah. It just, it, it adds to the smiley smile already. Mm -hmm. and yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I You can't. I don't think you can, can, well, you shouldn't, I should say, you shouldn't let yourself get down ever when you're streaming because you never know the impact that you're having on somebody else. Cause sure. Like the times when they say, you know, like, Hey, like, thanks for making my day today or whatever is great. Cause you get to know about it, but you never know the true impact of what you say and do on the people because half the time you're never going to hear about it, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. Like um, oh, there was one time, uh, it was so wholesome, I never really saw their name in my chat, and I know for sure there was one time they said that they were lurking a lot, but they just wanted to hang out and stuff like that, and they yeah. were too shy to chat, but one random day, they sent me a DM because... I think around that day, I had to open my DMs for something from a different server, and I forgot right. to close it again for my own server because it's not really safe to have like your DMs open sometimes, you know? Yeah. It's scary. It's really scary. But at that time, when, um, when my DMs was open and they sent me a message, a freaking, freaking sweet message that I cried because they said that, I'm sorry I couldn't really chat in your stream because I'm really shy and too afraid to ch to chat with a lot of people because I have anxiety about that and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But being in your community and being in your chat just makes me feel happy and it's been like a thing every day that I do. I just wake up and open your stream and everyone's like, oh, I cry. I yeah. <laughs> That's super cute, yeah. Yeah, like re they rarely chat. You rarely say hi to them, but mm -hmm. the impact what you try to say on stream or what you do on stream i did not know that that could do that me streaming or me saying something on stream could do that much yeah 
A hundred percent. You know? No, I... It's, I mean, it's crazy. Like, I feel like what you're talking about, probably actually most people feel too. Um, uh-huh. My, me personally, I feel like, uh, so I, I, I think maybe you've, you know this about me. I don't know. I served a two-year mission for my church. And uh, so I was one of those missionaries with the white shirt and the little black tag or whatever this is. Elder so-and-so. I'm going to tell you guys my last name, you weirdos. Um, (laughs) but you know what I mean? Like I spent two years going around and basically just doing whatever I could to serve anybody that needed help. Um, Elder Rock, you got me. How did you know? (laughs) No, but anyways, like, you know what I mean? Like you spend every day working your heart out, doing your a hundred percent, hundred and ten percent, whatever else you have left in the tank, and you just go home exhausted every day. And honestly, if you've ever been to anywhere that has missionaries, you know half the time people just like whether they say mean things at you, they yell at you, they slam the door in your face, whatever. Missionaries probably get treated some of the worst that of anybody, you know. Um out there you know especially the people knocking on your door like you know maybe door-to-door salesmen maybe a little bit less like missionaries kind of have like a a leg up on those guys but you know what i mean like and and you don't really know um the impact that you're having because sometimes you'll go up to somebody's house and you'll be like hi you're like i'm elder rock and this is elder so-and-so like we're here to see if we can share a message with you and they're like no i don't want to message you like well is there anything that we can do to help you out today they say, you know, usually no, but sometimes somebody says, well, you know what? Like sometimes they try and be cheeky too, actually. And they're like, actually like, you know, I need to take my trash out. And you're like, okay, cool. Like, where's your trash? Just give it to me. And I, you know, I've taken people's trash out to the road for them. And, Uh and then, you know, you take it out of the trash and you leave because what are you going to do? You're going to be like, I did it. Like what else? Like, you know what I mean? Like some people just don't want to talk and like, you never know you go home and you're exhausted and you feel like you haven't done anything that day. But every time you try and bring more light and more love and kindness into the world, it's going to go out there and it's going to do good. You know, even if you never hear about it and the, mm-hmm. the stories that you hear where you learn like oh my gosh that person that i helped that i took their trash out like um turns out they were having a really you know bad day and like they were having a fight with their you know husband or whatever i don't know yeah. and like they were friends with somebody else that you know like i don't know you know you hear the stories and you're just like oh my gosh like mm-hmm. it's crazy like you don't know what impact yeah. you have so it's it's always it's always worth it to put goodness out there. Yeah, little things can make a big difference. Yeah. Even, like you said, like just throwing their their trash or just, I don't know, (laughs) waving at them. Hi. I've done, I've done so many weird little tasks for people or whatever. Like (laughs) being a missionary is a really crazy experience, especially like in certain countries and stuff like that. I, I served my mission in Colorado, so it was like pretty tame. Um, but it was a Spanish speaking mission. So I actually like, that's, you know, where I got to use my Spanish from living in Spain, which was fantastic. But I learned, I didn't actually speak Spanish that they spoke, you know, all the people from Mexico do not speak Spanish. They speak Mexican. (laughs) Not the same. Yeah. (laughs) But anyways, (laughs) so talk to me. What, (laughs) what is a... What are some of your goals with streaming? Because we're talking a lot about the, you know, kind of like benefits or a lot of the like joys of streaming. What are your personal like aspirations with streaming? Um, Like in your life, I guess, do you see it as like a a career? Do you see it as something where you're going to do it till the day you die? Well, um, for me, I really want to make this as a full-time job. A lot of my community already know it, that um, I do suffer from depression and Mm -hmm. I never really had the chance or never really had the confidence to like really find a job. Yeah. And it wasn't really my main reason or my main goal to make this as a job. 
you know, when I started, I was an innocent bean that just wanted to have people to talk to because I'm way too shy in real life, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I started the stream with my goal to make people happy, to make something or create something in the sense with the community. <laughs> and, um, I just wanted to bring joy to, to people and um, I always see this on my stream like, I did this so that in, if there's a, a few people or if there's a person out there who just wants a time out out of all of the negativity around the world, because right now there's a lot, Yeah. then I want that place or the place that I built to be a safe haven for them wherein they can just be their self, not talk about anything negative, not talk about what's happening in the world, what's happening with their life, a place that they could just hang out in and relax yeah. that was like another goal of mine and when at some point it's not a goal but it would be a dream if i can do this legitimately full time you yeah know? like i don't go on to stream and think that oh i didn't have any bits today oh i didn't have any subs today mm -hmm. I'm, not gonna, I'm not doing well i'm not i don't like thinking that way because that's not the point of me streaming, you know, it would be nice. Well, if what, you know, I that, but you know, what I will say is, because I I think you have to have the mentality that it's not about the followers and it's not about the subs and it's not about the donations. However, to have a successful business, you do need some sort of income, and uh, and so like in some ways, yeah, it is important to be getting those things. But the thing is, is that because Twitch is not a platform where you earn money based off of the platform, Twitch isn't giving you money for for streaming. Sure, you know, they give you like ad revenue, but I think I've made like a dollar in ads like all the months that I've been streaming. Like, so what? I've made five dollars now. Woo! You know, like... Get that until you get the specific number. Yeah. And so like, you know, Twitch isn't a platform where like, oh, you know, I streamed for 10 people today. I made $10 like from Twitch, you know, all of the money that you're making on Twitch is because people love you is because they want to support you. YouTube, different scenario. YouTube is an ad based, you know, platform where you can make money and people don't have to give you anything. They can just watch your video and you make one cent or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, so so I think in conjunction, you know, like you, you do have to have ways to support yourself. But I think as a streamer, you can never be like, I've got to get, you know, I didn't make any, you know, money today. Like I didn't get any follows. Like, it's not about that. Like you're saying, it's about building that community. So, yeah. yeah. So like, um, if you're thinking of like doing this full time, well, in my perspective, when I, even until now, I don't. I don't want seeing my numbers. I don't like seeing my view count. I don't like seeing my follower count. I don't like seeing my sub count. Heck, I don't even like seeing my ad, my revenue. Right. Just because even a lot of people will relate to this, like even just a tiny bit of like downslope makes mm. you feel bad about your streaming. Yeah. Even, even seeing if you see your numbers go down or go up and then suddenly goes down. It doesn't really feel good. Yeah. And if if you're gonna think of that while thinking of doing this with your revenue and stuff like that, it's not really healthy. Yeah. So so like what what for me what counts is like right now I'm just gonna think of the community. Mm -hmm. Even if I want to grow, I just want to make sure that I don't mind all of the numbers. Yeah. Because if focus on those numbers it's just gonna make my like me feel bad my stream quality bad just because i'm like disappointed in every stream that i do but as you have said you have to think of this as a business also so yeah there's just a lot of things to juggle but it i think help not see numbers. yeah i think one of the biggest issues actually with small streamers is that i think the majority of us don't know anything about business I think the majority of small streamers are actually really bad at business and mm -hmm. you know, you don't go to school to become a streamer. Most people become streamers because like you, you were like, I want to play games with people or, Hey, I watch other people's streams and I think I could do it. Um, 
you know, most of us aren't, I guess maybe that's a bad assumption, but I think maybe most of us aren't college grads um, who went to business schools or something like that. Like, granted, I graduated college with a psychology degree and, you know, here I am <laughs> streaming. So, you know, not what I planned. Uh, definitely not. But uh, but I think if you can educate yourself about business, it's super important because um, you wouldn't think about uh, starting a, a business. Let's say you're starting a franchise. That's a pretty easy thing for everybody, everybody to understand. Like, let's say you want to open a McDonald's. You talk to McDonald's, you say, hey, I, I have this much money. I want to invest it and I want to start my own McDonald's uh, franchise. And McDonald's says, cool. Sounds good. You don't go to McDonald's and say, hey, I want a McDonald's of my own. And they say, here's a bunch of money. Make a building. Yeah. They don't say that. You have to invest money into your business. And with streaming, I don't think people, I don't think it clicks for them that sometimes your investment isn't necessarily money. It's yeah. time. Uh, Indeed. Because streaming, you know, for most people that stream as a full-time career, career, mm -hmm. um, it's like a... It's six to eight hours usually, I get, I would say. I'd say that's the average. That's a full day of work. That's what people are doing that make, you know, thirty to fifty thousand, you know, dollars a year. And you're doing it yeah. for five dollars in five months. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Cause like people don't know if you're not you're not done with the business when you're done streaming. Yeah. Because after streaming, a lot more things off stream. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of behind the behind the streams, like updating overlays, uh, making new alerts, hanging out with other streamers so that you can socialize, networking. Mm -hmm. You know, There's yeah. A lot of or if you raid somebody, you don't just raid yeah. and split. Or if you're doing that, they're probably doing it wrong. Like my wife will be like, "When's your stream done?" or whatever, and I'll be like, "Oh, like I stream seven to one. You know that." babe like and she's like okay cool 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 and then she'll come to me at one and be like okay so you're done with your stream and i'm like just a second i'm writing somebody like <laughs> and you know it's not it's not over when it's over um because there's there's other stuff and that's i mean if you th if you talk to anybody that started their own business and you say oh, how many hours do you work a week they don't work nine to five probably especially at the beginning they probably work 60 hours a week instead of 40 hours a week you know Oh my gosh, I've been there because, like, again, I didn't really have a chance to find a job, right? So I was mm -hmm. trying to find a way to earn money. And at one point, I started baking. And Ooh. people thought it was I wake up at around 3 a.m. because I didn't have a decent oven right. to make cookies. I wake up at 3 a.m. to make 60 to 70 cookies. And okay. have it be prepared by 10 a.m. Is this why your sub badge is a cookie? Well, <laughs> oh, not really. It can be. But I'm reading started, into this, I think. It was, it, no, no, no. When I started streaming, my snack, my snack was always a cookie. I had this. Because you made them. Cookie. No. My oh, dad okay. Had the cookies, and I would have them. And every time I'm hungry, it's just cookies for the whole, like... <laughs> five months that i was streaming it was just cookies dang okay so it became a thing i thought there was something yeah. more to this cookie story but essentially you were supporting yourself by spending more time when you weren't streaming yeah so like um wake up at 3 a.m be ready by 10 because i have to be at the church by 10 because it's just right it's, 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 okay be at the church at 10 sell it until like 12 until it like it's all gone mm -hmm. and then after that buy ingredients for the next batch prepare mm -hmm. it at night so that i but and sleep at around 11 or 10. Mm -hmm. wake up at 3 a.m again and bake more batches because you know the grind yeah of course so it's not that it's it's i guess twitch is something like that like people need to know that it's not just streaming you don't grow by just going live you know mm -hmm. i'd say and at the beginning maybe a lot of your growth happens when you go live because yeah, you don't have a presence in other places but as you continue to to grow I'll, i'd say your growth should start to happen a lot more when you're offline 
um uh-huh. yep. you know i i've started at this point in my my career i've started to see like follow messages when i'm not on when i'm not streaming and i'm just like where'd these like where these people come from like they just like followed me when i wasn't even live like what do you mean how they let me do that you can't do that like <laughs> how am i supposed to thank you dang it like but how did you find me? Where did you come from? Excuse yeah. me, what? I guess my YouTube channel uh, or my Instagram or something. Yeah, I don't know. See, see, there's a lot more to streaming. Like, what the heck? Now that you say it, there's Twitch, there's Twitter, there's Instagram, there's Facebook if you want to. YouTube. There's YouTube if you want to. Even Discord. I've had some people that told me, hey, I saw that you were live because I'm I, I'm like in a bunch of discords and so when I stream it shows up as me streaming on their discord server just because I'm a member of it and they say yeah I just like followed your name and like found you here on twitch and I'm like you're from which discord server and it was like some yeah. like mobile game that I like joined the discord server for like you know the hill climb like mobile game where it's the car oh, and yeah, like you have to like accelerate or like let go of the accelerator so that you don't crash anyways yeah. like it's it's crazy, but uh, anyways, and they were like, "Yeah, you, you uh, played this mobile game with my my dad, like, and uh, I found you on there." And I was just like, "Okay, yeah, like, cool." Like, yeah, it's, yeah, that, it's like, crazy. Really unique way to meet people, you know? Yeah, it's, but it can be from anything. Which you can meet them anywhere, or like a random, like I don't know, a group chat where you just randomly said, "Oh." Yeah, I do that like this, like that, and then they randomly just search for me, and there's you. Yeah, you know. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's not just Twitch. If you if you plan to do this like a business, it's not just Twitch. Yeah, definitely. You you have to diversify. You you if you think that you're gonna become like some big shot streamer just by streaming every day on Twitch, it's not gonna happen. And if it does happen, it's gonna take you years and years and years. And it's like bashing your head against a wall to like get through as opposed to like you know going and buying c4 at the store uh, you know what i mean like you can do it but it's not the best yeah. way it's like don't when you start streaming don't expect to blow blow up immediately it takes a lot of time so how long have you been streaming for then i have been streaming for wait, what is it today september september 5th year and um one year and one month it's gonna be one year and two months in september 8th cool it has been that long nice and it's i'm I, kind of surprised I, by how long i've been streaming now i'm like oh yeah like I'm like it was oh, in march yeah, I, I actually remember like you saying that you you did stream before and then stopped and then streamed again because of the freaking part of your computer that didn't work. Oh, well, but I took a two week break. Yeah, because my graphics card uh, broke. Yeah, but I'm super glad you still stream because you're really doing well at it. And it's it's like um, for me, I don't go back because of what you play, but because of your personality. And that that mm-hmm. makes a big difference, because even if you play other games, even if I wasn't your friend, even if I wasn't your mod or anything like that, if 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 you were playing a different game and because I liked your personality already as I went in your stream, I would definitely watch anything that you want to do. Like any games that you want to do, even if it's just like this right now, just chatting. Well thanks. It's, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. So talk to me. How much how much time do we have? I mean, it's up to you. Okay, cool, okay. cool. I'm going to I'm going to move on with with a couple more questions but we'll we'll try and wrap it up. I I don't know how long we've been talking for, but usually I try and keep these interviews from 30 to an hour uh just so that it's yeah, digestible. <laughs> you know, like it's great, but I I know you and I know me and I'm sure that we could talk for hours and I probably need to eat lunch at some point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um okay. We did a deep dive on your uh, Instagram and found interesting stories that need more content. Sorry, <laughs> I can't steal that. Have you guys watched Hot Ones? <laughs> okay, I have to I have to shout out Hot Ones every single time that I do this because I love Hot Ones and I think that uh, Sean does an excellent job interviewing and he does his research, man. He does his research on who he interviews because he interviews famous people 
and he digs up like the craziest stuff and they're like how'd you know about that like <laughs> but anyways i went on your instagram and i found a couple of uh posts that i want you to explain um you've been posting stuff on instagram for a long time um okay i'm gonna start off with this one okay let me see here uh you guys can see this so hold up we gotta come on focus so if you guys can see that that is that is two dogs in the sims and then one picture of a real dog is this your dog do you have a dog what is it a bichon bichon something I was a shih tzu. Yeah, okay. Around that time, the reason why I did that was because I won a code for that pack. So it's a pack oh. in the Sims for it's a Sims for cats and dogs, and I won nice. the pack, and I freaking wanted to make my dog in the game. Nice. <laughs> you did a really good job. It's like really close. The the coloration on the face, like you know how the like those little white dogs kind of get the like you know reddish oh, yeah. colors. From their tears or whatever. Yeah. The the dog in my house is exactly the same thing. Um, what's the dog's name? And you still have it. Oh, I do. I do have three dogs. That's like the, the youngest out of them. And her name is Shaui. Shaui. Um, yeah. And the other two dogs are mixed. So she's a pure Shih Tzu. The white one is mm -hmm. a pure Shih Tzu. And then the other two dogs are one is a mixed breed of a Dachshund and a Pug. Oh. And the other one is a mix of Dachshund. A, yeah, a Chihuahua and a pug, I think. And they're called Berry and Pepper. What does that look like? A, a Chihuahua and a pug? Cute and ugly at the same time. Tiny and furry. Tiny and furry? Okay. Pug? I think Another pugs are actually really cute. I'm not going to lie. I think pugs are kind of cute. It's kind of sad that they can't breathe very well. Uh, then but then I think, you know, like, up moves, you know? yeah, yeah, they can't then, breathe. They're bred to yeah, not be able to breathe. Well, that wasn't the point. The point was to make them look <laughs> weird. But, but then, uh, I'm just gonna lie. I think pugs are ugly. Well, you're wrong, Essa. Pugs are cute. Oh, no. Anyways, and then I think chihuahuas are like big nasty rats. Like I don't know. But I the combination. I don't even know what that would look like. It depends on what kind of chihuahua there is, because not a lot of people, not a lot of chihuahuas are like. They're like. And stuff like that. No. Yeah, I don't know. That's just my opinion. <laughs> you guys can have your opinions. I. <laughs> I have very strong opinions about how things look, especially dogs. Oh god. They look so dumb. No. They're cute. Now I need to look at your Instagram. What the heck? Okay, yeah. Well, when you interview me on your stream, then you can search for my pictures. Must find in, in, um, evidence. Evidence? What the heck? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta deep dive. Find the picture of, of all the food that I did, that I ate, like, yeah. five years ago. <laughs> one picture you're just standing there with Lily. Yeah. yeah. I've got a lot of yeah. stuff on Instagram. If you guys want to follow me there, then you know, go for it. Um, right. Okay, this is the... This is the picture that I'm more interested in, actually. The dog one was cute. But I found this masterpiece, ladies and gentlemen. Oh God, talking about it. No. This is a masterpiece. Check out that freaking drawing. Oh, hold up. I gotta make this straight. I'm so bad. Oh, oh, Look at that. Oh, you, you guys know who that, that is because it's perfect. It's amazing. She freaking drew the coolest looking picture oh no do you know who that is though yeah don't read the comments. please don't read the comments oh who I, is it it's just a screenshot a scarlet johansson obviously yeah it's black <laughs> widow it's, yeah, it's black widow. she's done so many things scarlet johansson is legendary um but your picture is legendary you if I had known you were an artist like that, I mean, well, actually, I don't know you were an artist at all. If I had known you were an artist, I probably would have been like, uh, Pixie, can you please make my emotes? <laughs> I mean, wait, I didn't tell you that. Remember when, when... That you were an artist? Asked... No, 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 
when people were asking who did my emotes and my my stuff, like you know, emotes and alerts and stuff like that, I did say that I was I did all of those. Right? You did them? I don't remember I that. Know. It's been a long time. I'll be honest, but I didn't. You didn't show me your some of you. Well, actually, maybe I guess you if you said that you showed me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I didn't see that. That was crazy. So do you do you like have a specific uh, form of art that you like doing best? Pencil, pen, acrylic. I don't know. Oh, like oil. The mode of my like digital um, materials. Oh, I am not good with digital just because I do not have the tools for it. So mm -hmm. I, that's why a lot of like what Essie just did there. Right. <laughs> I do a lot of pixel art when it comes to digital. These are all of her emotes right here in the chat. If you're watching online, you can see it because I actually put the text up on this overlay now. Woohoo! I'm a pro. <laughs> but yeah, um, my mode of, of materials that I always use is pencil. I like charcoal. I like pencil. I like monochrome. I'm not mm. good with acrylic or oil. I okay. go... I'm fine with watercolor, but my main medium is like pencil. Cool. So charcoal and stuff like that, just because it's easier for me. Yeah, I mean, I, the only kind of art I've done is with pencil or pen. I haven't done mm -hmm. anything else. Well, maybe when I was a kid, I did some watercolor, but like, yeah. you can do watercolor with your finger and like spread it around, which actually is kind of cool sometimes. But you know what I mean? Like, it was like a kid thing, so I don't claim to be an artist. By any stretch yeah. of the imagination. But yeah, that's awesome. That's super cool. Yeah. So like the, the drawing that you just showed was mainly charcoal. So I used, <laughs> it might be weird to some people, but I get a charcoal pencil or a charcoal bar and then mm -hmm. just scrape it. I scrape it to a, a container and then grab a brush. And that's how I did that. Except for the eyes, of course. It looks eyes. super smooth. It almost looks like it was like, you know, uh, like digitally edited but if you look at it close it's obviously like just smoothly done and that makes sense that you did it with a brush yeah so, it's super so the shading the little smirk Scar <laughs> scarlet johansson has a smirk ladies and gentlemen and she perfectly did the little like oh i wish i could like do Ooh. a smirk prop i don't know how to smirk <laughs> i don't know when you think about it too hard your mouth doesn't do the right thing <laughs> mm -hmm. i don't know i don't know i don't know what yeah. But yeah, anyways, mean. cool. That's awesome. Thank you for thank you for explaining those those to us. I feel like I know you better already. <laughs> oh, All right. Dear. Awkward. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I I feel like this is this has been a very smooth, flowy interview. So you're you're totally good. Thank you. This is really fun, actually. I'm really enjoying this. Just chatting. Yeah. Heck yeah. Like type of stream for me, you know. Yeah. No, um my inspiration for this for this uh podcast, I guess if you will, because if you're listening to this on where you get your podcasts. Excuse me, I'm yeah. actually not posting this on Spotify <laughs> or anything like that. This is just gonna be on YouTube. But uh but a part of my inspiration was actually some of these like D and D podcasts that I listened to. Um oh, what was it called? The Adventure Crew or something? If there's any people from the U.S., maybe you've heard of it. So it was on Spotify. It was like a kind of like D&D &D thing, but it was a little bit different. It was Monster of the Week. Um, uh -huh. Anyway, it was this bunch of people. They did a fantastic uh, little like story, a bunch of backstory. And the guy who was DMing was like a legend. He was great at, um, you know, like just making you feel like you were sitting at the table with them. And that's kind of what I want for these is like, mm -hmm. sure, it's it has value because, you know, you can learn about you, you can learn about, um, you know, streaming and things like that. But then it also, you know, mm -hmm. like it's me here, you over there and, you know, yeah. somewhere, maybe here at the bottom or right here, you know, like <laughs> is, is everybody else in chat, you know what I mean? Everybody who's watching this, you know, years from now when I, we're both famous, you know, like, you know, then they can feel like they're part of this. So yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. It's really nice. I don't know. This is fun. I kind of want to do this more now. <laughs> you can, you, I was like, you can take my idea. It's okay. <laughs> oh dear. But you can, I you can spin it. I don't. Yeah, but I don't think I have the charisma to do it. You know. I'm oh. Just to people. <laughs> That's the no, thing. No, I will I say. Don't. 
I will say the um, my ability to have like to conduct an interview is something that I've had to develop over years and years. Um, you know, being able to like have a conversation is not just talking to somebody when you're having some sort of like an interview setting. It, a lot of goes into it. And I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but like, like on my mission or whatever, like when I was talking to a bunch of people, like you really have to gain a skill of, you know, conversing and having it flow, you know, part of it's, you know, asking good questions, not just mm -hmm. like yes or no questions. You ask questions that elicit a story or a, a you know, an emotional response or something like that. Um, or like summing up what you said, you say something and you tell me a story and then it's really important to like, you know, be like, oh, so like what you're saying is this, right? And then you could be like, yeah, like that's, that is what I'm saying. So that people can like digest it better. Anyways, it's a whole art form, but uh, I'm sure you could do it uh, as long as you put your mind to it. You seem like a very capable person. <laughs> See, I'm, I can keep the conversation flowing, but I can't think of the things to start the conversation, you know? Mm. I... But you do that off stream. You do that beforehand. <laughs> it's just preparation. I mean, I know that that requires more time, and which is one thing that you literally don't have. Because if you don't know this about Pixie, she's a super busy lady. She's like single handedly conquering the world over there in the Philippines, <laughs> taking care of her house that's like under construction while streaming. Uh, if you guys don't know, at the start of this year, I did not have a room. Again, yeah, I was about to say, your setup looks great, by the way. Okay. You're chilling over here with all these, like, cute stuff, and I'm just like, my bed! And white okay. background, because nothing is in focus, and everything is whited out. I have, I have it. Yes, and my wife! Cool, back. <laughs> um, I mean, <laughs> hi, wifey! Yeah. But, uh, when I started streaming, again, if if it bothers you of what you can see behind you, don't because that doesn't matter when you first start streaming. Cause like I started streaming with like a wall behind me. Mm -hmm. That was when I was streaming from the office of my parents. Yeah. The second time was I was streaming from my bedroom that was falling apart because it had a lot of holes on the floor, a lot of holes in the ceiling. Basically, it was the windows were falling. I I still streamed. Yeah. And then at the start of the year. At the start of this year, we finally demolished the rooms, the bedrooms. I did not have a room. I was streaming from the dining area. And my freaking parents could hear me. I was about to say, I remember that. You had your little wall or your little partition or whatever. Yeah, with the, the stars over there. Yeah. yeah. Good Curtain. times. There was, Good times. There was like a curtain behind me because there was like this weird yellowish wall yeah. there. And I just improvised and... Um, yeah, it, it's been a rough year, and I'm just glad I can still push through with streaming, although I'm not really doing well with schedules. <laughs> yeah, no, schedules are really hard to keep as a streamer, um, you know, and I mean, it's amazing that you've done so well um, with all the things that have been going on. I remember, like, we were talking... I think you were like, I don't know, maybe you were just chatting in my stream one day or something like that. And you're like, hey, like, uh, the house is starting to flood. Like, I'm just gonna, I gotta go for like 15 or minutes or something like that. I'll be back. And I'm just like, girl, like, what are you talking about? Like, there's like torrential rain pour going on. And she's like worried about her house flooding or something like that. And I'm just like, take 15, take an hour, take a day, like, take as long as you need. You don't need to worry about like coming back into my chat. I was just like, girl, you crazy. She's got like her house, you know. I'm just like, oh my gosh, you're. But you're a legend because of that. Like, oh, thank you. I was in your chat that time, and I was. I think I really wanted to mod so bad because I wanted to be there on your stream. That every like 15 minutes, I would be there, pop in, and say hi. Excuse me, wait while I mop the floor. Yeah. <laughs> One time, the floor was legit not stopping. It's not like a bad flood. It's not right. Like, it's not ankle high but like the water was just flowing into the, yeah. into the house it was annoying because there were a lot of things on the floor that must not be wet and stuff like that you know mm -hmm. at one point at one point i really wanted to be on red stream i legit wanted to be there not just having his stream on the laptop playing at mm -hmm. my desk and i wanted to have it here with me i had my phone i was holding my phone while i was freaking mopping <laughs> the floor 
like, ah, you guys, yeah. I hope you're doing well. That's crazy. Dang. <laughs> It Pri was, it priorities, was, everybody. Priorities. Because <laughs> while well, the water was flooding into the house, it was going through like the gap between the construction and the main house that is yeah. not demolished and stuff like that. It's sipping through it and going into a door. Well, okay. while that was happening, we have like a corrugated roof. Okay, and yeah. So our, our, our house is really old. It's older than me. And it has oh. holes. So technically, we were flooding while it was raining inside our house. Damn. <laughs> so it was still there. <laughs> That's crazy, so, yeah. I had like a freaking raincoat on. I had like a mop on one hand. I had a rag on the other. I had um, buckets around me while I was trying to sip all of those like um, water out of the floor. Yeah. The floor. No, I... But I still... Chat, I was still there. It was like... Like... I was monitoring chat. I wanted to be there for it, and I wanted to do it, so I did it. And yeah. Yeah. No, that's fantastic. I, I mean, so you know a little bit about my living situation. I don't know if any anybody from your channel does, but uh, I moved here to France with my wife, and we're renting currently still renting a uh, room out of somebody else's house. So we don't have our own house. We don't have our own apartment. We share a space. And it gets pretty crazy sometimes. There's like 20 animals in this house. Ferrets, dogs, cats. Um, Ferret. Sometimes I think the, the humans are animals too because literally I've never seen as many like slobby things. Like there's like bags of chips and like dishes that haven't been cleaned in days. And like it's, it's a situation. But when I compare that with like your situation, I'm like, well, at least it's not flooding. I, although actually so there's a plug outside the house that like when it rains it'll short out the thing and pop the breaker and uh and she knows this like it's it's bad wiring and it, it like rain gets in there and, and it turns off turns off all my setup here and i swear to you like she knew that this was the case and she kept on plugging it in and then it kept on raining it was like raining and she was like oh but we need the filter for the pool and i'm just like no you don't you don't need to pull while you're while it's raining. Like, calm down. Like, anyways, it's not good to like shut off the power while your computer's running. Like, it can break things. And uh, anyways, like, but like, still. If you don't, uh, what do you call it? The APC. The power supply. Surge protector. No, it's like a oh. battery. So when it's like when your your electricity Human, dies. Humans do suck sometimes. <laughs> the circuit breakers. No, it's not. Is it APC? I forgot what the freaking thing is called, but it's like a... It's not an electrical thing? It's like, yeah, it's like you plug all the, like, your computer in, your monitor in that, and then if, you're, if, you're, if your electricity dies, your computer would still be running, your monitor would still be running for, like, at least, like, 15, 15 minutes. Yeah, it's like a backup. It's a surge protector. Yeah, yeah there you go. Okay. Yeah, my my dad had one of those actually. It would beep whenever the power would go off. It would beep for like fifteen minutes or something like that, and then eventually like turn off. Yeah. I was always annoyed yeah. by it. <laughs> I mean, it does beep a lot, but at least you have time to say what you were doing, you know? Yeah. Especially, no, seriously. Especially at the time when I was still making like videos for YouTube. Mm -hmm. People don't know it, but when you make videos on YouTube, like my videos, which are like speed builds. Builds, technically speed builds, but me building houses, uh -huh. most of the houses that I build are like 10 hours long. <laughs> and I have to squeeze it into a 10 minute to 15 minute video, and it's not that easy. And if I lose That's the crazy. file that I was working on, it's not nice. Not yeah. But yeah. You just must save like every five seconds or something. Oh my gosh, yeah. No, I oh I was editing I was editing video actually for a YouTube video on like DaVinci or whatever. Um and and yeah, I had like about like an hour of work or something like that that I had done on this video and then the power the breaker flipped or whatever and it was just gone and I was like <laughs> like <laughs> I was so upset. I was just like I was just like what is going on? Like anyways, I go out and I pull that plug out of the wall every single day, I swear. It's crazy. No, I know. We should wrap it up. We'll we'll wrap it up with. <laughs> I'm sitting over here, hypoglycemic guy, going like, like, 
<laughs> about to pa pass out. No, it's cool. I I know my limits. I pass out all the time. Um, no, uh, but anyways, um, tell me, uh, okay, for the last question, first off, if anybody has any questions for Pixie, put them in the chat now. I'll be looking at the, like, maybe five-ish first questions or something like that, and we'll get any special questions for Pixie, so pop, drop them down in the chat now. Um, uh, yeah, but I... You don't want me here or something. There's always next time, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we could have part two. Part two, part two. <laughs> part two. <deux. laughs> <laughs> in France. Um, but anyways. Um, tell me, what if there's one thing that you could share with everybody watching this currently in the future on youtube and in the years to come what do you want people to know about you about what you believe um whatever and then after you do that then shamelessly self promote yourself and uh, and then we'll answer questions Ooh, am i gonna say my raid command command what the heck is raid <laughs> your spiel i don't know whatever you want to do um but yeah, I think I've, I've, I've said it a lot on the stream since earlier, but yeah, my name is Dixie. Not, not, not legally Dixie, you know. My <laughs> she changed her name to Pixie's later, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> She's officially, officially Pixie. I'm Pixie, I'm a Pixie, but yeah, I'm Pixie. I am, um, I try to do this for a living. I, my main goal for the or whatever I do right now, either Twitch or YouTube, is to make people smile, make a place wherein they would be comfortable to hang out with people, chat with people if they want to, and stuff like that. And um, more things about me is I am small. Yeah. <laughs> I am from the Philippines. Um, I have been streaming for one year and one month. If that makes a difference. I've been on YouTube since 2016. I've been playing The Sims since 2016. I am a shy, awkward, weird, weird, chaotic, and a small person. And I hope that can vibe with some people. And in the future to come, I just want to build a community wherein everybody can hang out and be safe. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm well, weird. well, you you passed the vibe test for me. <laughs> Yay! I made it, <laughs> mom. I made it. <laughs> yeah, mom. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> my mom's so far away. I'd have to yell real loud for her to hear me back in the U.S. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> mom. <laughs> I'd be better off calling her on Facetime and being like. All right. What kind of questions do you guys have? Thank you, by the way, for that. Um, can you not ask like a question? Can I just like thank her? Cause like, yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes, Crimson, you can. Um, I love you. Did anybody have any questions? One year and two uh, minutes. That's very specific. Oh my god, Essa, I'm not going to freaking answer that. No. What did she ask? Who is your favorite mod? Who's your favorite mod? Oh, dang. Can't answer that question. <laughs> That's like my mom when she... <laughs> I feel like I'm mentioning my mom a lot. <laughs> I was like, whenever I ask her who her favorite kid is, she's like, I, you, can't, you can't say that. And I'm just like, it's okay. I know it's me. <laughs> it's okay. My mom doesn't watch my streams. It's all right. She, I know she loves me. <laughs> it'd be i was about to say it'd be hilarious if she like chimed in right now and was like hey, i'm watching oh my god you just random see your mom there and if you ever <laughs> see somebody named dolphina in the chat that's my mom <laughs> <laughs> i love her so much she's the best all right well right now. what's that we need we need her right now <laughs> we do we need it i need to get my mom on the stream that'd be fantastic she's a gem she's uh -huh. truly the most angelic woman that i think i've ever um had the pleasure to meet oh my gosh i can freaking relate with that 
I, I feel yeah. the same way with old mom and dad. If you if you got if you got that type of relationship with your parents, it's it's magical. Obviously, you don't yeah. choose your parents. So to anybody there that doesn't have a good relationship with your parents, it's not your fault. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. All right, that was a weird note to end on, but <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you so much for being here. It's been it's been quite enjoyable. Um, you know, we I haven't done a part two ever, but if there ever were a time. I want to do a part two. It'd be now because I still got more questions for you. <laughs> yeah, and I, I for sure will be awake on time that time because I know for sure I'm not going to be sick around that time. You're I totally fine. Sick. You had a special situation today that made it hard, and that is totally fine. Everybody else, everybody understands. Everybody loves you. It's all good. <laughs> do we do a vote for part two? Do part a vote two? for part two. Um, if you like part one, then if we hit a hundred likes on Pixie's video on YouTube on my channel, we'll have a part two. That's how you do oh, it, right? That's how the yeah. that's how YouTubers do it, right? <laughs> Did I do it right? <laughs> Viking Viking said something. Oh no. Viking what? what? That's a question for me or a question for Red? <laughs> uh Viking, 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 where are you? I didn't see it. Did you see the message? Oh, I feel ignored. Where did you say it, Viking? Oh, there you go. When will you tear show you something to me? <laughs> oh, dang. Are you going to answer that question? Um, um, <clears throat> when I figure some tour. Because <laughs> currently, if some of you don't know, Twitch money is not that many of you think it is. <laughs> yeah, Twitch <laughs> takes half of our money. It's sad. Yeah, and most of it goes to bills, and if not bills, to the freaking construction happening right now. So to the construction! To the construction! To the library! <laughs> to the library! <laughs> oh, I, I, was talking, I was talking with my chat earlier about that quote from Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> about uh Sokka when they have their like mini vacations or whatever he's like on my mini vacation I'm going to the library oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Washington yeah. library or whatever Red Viking said it was a question for you not me oh it was a question for me oh that's a good question I um soon um. soon <laughs> I'm getting really good at this Pixie I'm, I'm ready to be a dad <laughs> Wait, I mean, I'm to answer hard questions now. September. Not an announcement. Not an announcement. Oh, uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're going to keep on doing this forever. So, thank you so much. Sorry. Um, yes. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. I, uh, I'm just going to have to, you know, like, probably edit some of this out. It's probably a little too silly for YouTube. <laughs> Right now. You yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. All right. Well, again, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. Um, have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you soon. Sure thing. Thank you for having me, and I hope you have a great day. Have a great lunch, and I freaking love you guys. <laughs> All right. Everybody, say bye to Pixie. Bye. Bye.